we're going to be doing an HP 15 charging jack repair. Now, just so you can see the computer. Most any 15, they're all going to have the same model to them, same screws and all that. Now, we're just going to go ahead and go with the obvious, take all, unscrew all the screws with just a regular fill up screwdriver. Try to take a, find all the screw, screws that are going to come out. I want you to remove this screw right here. That's the one that holds in the DVD drive. So you can just unscrew that one screw and the whole DVD drive will pop right out. I'm doing this one handed, so bear with me. Take that out. Once you take that out, I already got some screws out anyways because I'm opening it up already, but you're going to take out three screws here. Those are sort of hidden. One, two, and three, right underneath the DVD drive. Those are going to be the silver screws that go in there. So now this cover here is going to be a little hard to take off. It's held in pretty good by some plastic little, uh, you know, rivets right there. So you're going to want to pop that out pretty, you know, I mean, use something strong to pop it out, like a razor or something to get underneath there. Just put some force into it. And then you take out the next four screws. Take all the screws out there. So once we get the cover off, we're going to go take out the battery. Make sure this is on unlock. Take that off. Flip the laptop over. And I got a little pick that I use here. Let's put the pick in. You can use anything though, whatever you can get to get underneath here. And just pop this up. Try to pop the keyboard up. Pull it away though. Take it out. Flip this clasp up right here. See, it looks like a little lever. Put your fingernail underneath there and pop that up. Next, after you take off the keyboard, you're going to take out the five screws. These screws are smaller than the rest, so separate these so you don't mistakenly put, you know what I mean, the bigger screws in, in these holes here. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And then go ahead and start unclipping all these ribbons right here. One, two, what I see right now is three, but there should be, I'm guessing there's going to be another one for the mouse somewhere once we get into it. Unless this is it here. It looks like these are also going to be just pop them up. You can pay attention, see what I'm doing, just pop it up like that. All right, what I'm gonna do is probably use a razor to try to pop this up. I haven't opened this up yet, right here. You can hear it sort of, I've been clicking now. Once you get it up enough, you can probably get a fingernail in there or something and just start trying to get it to open up. I'm trying to do this one-handed right now, but I forced it up at least enough to get my fingernail in there, finger in there pretty good. I'm just going to run my hand across it to really get it to open up all the way around. By the way, I forgot to mention that when you do pull this all the way up, pull all these ribbons all the way out. That way when you're pulling this open, you don't, even though you unclipped it, go ahead and try to get a hand in there and grab that little piece and pull it out of that hole right there, you know. So pull it out so it's going to not have any pressure or anything like that when it comes up. I already got it almost all the way up. Okay. Got this all the way up. Take off the top frame. And we can see our charging port. It looks like it's right here. And I'm going to try to trace to where it's going to. I've never done this one before, so this is the first time. But it looks like I'm just going to un unplug the LCD cable. And here's the regular plug for it looks like the for the power supply or the power jack. I'm just going to pull out. I'm going to pull that way. So I'm going to pull. You want to pull up and away hopefully that'll unplug it just try to wiggle when you shake give it a good wiggle back and forth and see if that makes it come out nope and there it is unscrew the two screws here so actually when this comes out i don't have a new one to put in yet I'm, i just ordered mine i'm just went ahead and opened it up right now but when it comes out a, a tool sort of like a little hook like this would be helpful to put the new one back in you want to just lay it in right you know what i mean to guide it and then just and what should be pretty easy. Yep. See, I got it right back in again. So it shouldn't be too hard to get it back in again without saving you the headache of actually trying to unscrew the whole motherboard, flip it around, and easily be able to plug it in. But if you get like a little hook tool like this, or you got some good fingernails, or even like a little pick, you could probably, you could still do it without having to do all the extra work of taking out the whole motherboard. But anyways, now if you want to go back, go ahead and uh, replace your actual LCD. So you're gonna go ahead and order. I don't have an LCD to show you, but I'll show you where it, you know, 
Just get a fingernail underneath there and rip up pretty up. Just rip hard. It's not gonna come out. It won't break nothing. You know, it's gonna go all the way down. Looks like we got two screws. They're hidden. They're gonna be hidden behind here. I'll use my little pick to peel that little plastic cover off. Maybe a razor. Keep that, you want to keep that little cover. Keep that cover to put it back on afterwards when you get to take off the screw. Take these two off. Okay, I took the two screws out. It looks like it's ready to come out. Now to make this come all the way out, you're gonna to wanna to open the LCD up all the way down. Or open the laptop all the way open. Just crack open as far as it goes, and then it should pull up easy. Don't try to do it when it's not opened up all the way. Next, we're gonna take out, looks like the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six screws, six more screws coming out. Take out, take out those six screws. Your OLCD will come out, you're going to roll it out. You can see the cable right down here, which was that same one that we, were, we had unplugged to do the charging port. So you're going to want to just, there's a cable, match up where it comes in from and it comes out of when you, when you put the new one back in. Put your new LCD in, screw it back in. Depending on which LCD you're going to buy, usually you have to keep this metal frame right here. Then you're going to have to take, unscrew this, this the screws on the side, you unscrew this, put on the new one you buy. And a lot of times this inverter has to come off and put this on the new LCD also. Sometimes they're built in too. I'm not taking this one out to really see for sure, but if you have any questions or problems, you can email me or just uh, chat back to the, to the link. Thanks.